Hi, it's Wesley with 22 Zines. Welcome to this video, welcome to my channel, and welcome to my new apartment and my new fancy tarot desk. You can't see most of the desk, I'll show it off later. Because, right now, I really want to get into this tag, which is, uh, hashtag, do I have that card by Lachette at Scarlet Moon Creations. And basically, this is a tarot card scavenger hunt, where you look through your decks and you try to pull a card that fulfills each of these prompts and you do so as quickly as possible and so the idea is that you time yourself and you try to beat the person who tagged you if you were tagged or you try to you try to beat the video that you saw you try to beat that time or just try to go as quickly as possible and um i definitely love the little friendly competition i it totally, you know, scavenger hunts bring out my inner Genki girl, and so I'm like, I'm super jazzed, and so I'm definitely going to go through and do this as quickly as possible. So, the uh, general idea, as I said, is that you pull one card for each of these prompts, and there is this list of 20 prompts. I'll link all of the, uh, or, you know, I'll, I'll provide a list of all the prompts down below, and I'll also link the original video and then Laura's video at uh, Aquamarine 18, which is where I originally saw this tag. Uh, before we get started, there are a few rules to this game. <laughs> and the rules are no reusing cards for multiple prompts, but you can reuse decks. So you can use cards, you know, multiple cards from one deck to fulfill multiple prompts. Do not shuffle or reorder your decks beforehand. So no putting them in order or... Otherwise, trying to rearrange them to make it easier to find things. Just whatever position that they're in right now, you leave it at that. Um, don't watch the end of a video if you plan to play. Uh, I kind of already broke that rule. <laughs> but the idea is just if you want to play, you um, want to try not to watch too many videos beforehand because you don't want to, you know, you don't want someone else to pull out a card that fulfills a certain prompt and then have you be like, oh yeah, I have that deck, I have that card, and so I'll just pull that out and, you know, have it have it sort of ruin the scavenger hunt portion of it for you. Um, I'm not too worried because the videos that I watched, which were uh, Lachette's original one and then Laura's, um, we don't really have a lot of similar decks, so I don't think it's going to be a big problem for me. But if you do plan to play and you think that you might have a lot of similar decks to me, then maybe you want to film your play first, or, or, you know, whether or not you have a YouTube, you can play this without a YouTube, you know, you might want to participate yourself and then compare how you did it to the other videos. That's just sort of, you know, the official rule is don't watch the end of the Taggers video if you plan to play. Um, and then, and that's it. <laughs> I, uh, oh, and then I, I suppose the how to play is that you just start a timer whenever you're ready and you pull a card for each prompt and you see how long it takes you. Uh, so yeah, I also am going to add a couple of house rules for myself just to make it a little bit harder for me and um, more fun because I like a good challenge. And for me, what I'm going to do is, although you are officially allowed to, I am not going to be reusing decks. So once I've used a deck, that's it. I'm not going through it again. No other cards from that deck can fulfill future prompts. And my second house rule is that if I don't have a card to fulfill a prompt, I add a two-minute penalty for myself. <laughs> and um, I'm just doing that because there's a couple that I think that I don't have, like uh, just reading the prompts. I'm pretty sure there's a few that I don't have at all. Um... But I feel like I don't, I, I want to give myself an incentive to make 100% sure that I <laughs> don't have them. So I'm adding a two minute penalty just to account for the time that I would have spent looking for it. Um, yeah, there you go. And, you know, to try and encourage me to be a little creative in the way that I interpret the prompts and the way that I might find a card to fulfill it. So that's it. <laughs> um, all of my decks are here. You can't quite see the bottom of it. I'll show it off later, but I've got um, all of my tarot decks in this one little, um, it's like a little secretary desk thing. And get ready to see me running around and pulling cards and flipping cards and trying to fulfill these prompts. Okay, I've adjusted the camera so you can see more of the running around madness. <laughs> and I've got my partner's phone here all set up with a stopwatch. 
So, we're gonna start play, and then I'm gonna get ready for the ride of my life. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three, go! Okay, first prompt, card with two clouds. Let's see, this one's kind of a tricky one. I'm gonna start with the Northern Animal Tarot because I feel like it's kind of cartoony, and so it'll be easier to have two clouds. Here's one with three. Um, this one is like a really hard one to start with, I feel like. Oh my god, maybe this is a mistake. I thought that the clouds would have like outlines and things because they're because the rest of them are kind of outlined. That one has three. How come so many have three clouds? Oh, well, this is a this is the wrong deck to choose. I may have to switch to a different one. But you know, here I am. I've already pulled it out. Uh, Ace has one. One, two, three. How many three clouds are there? Oh my god. Okay, I gotta calm down. I gotta relax. Uh, that's one cloud. One, two, three, four. Of course, it had to be exactly two clouds. What's funny is that, like, Laura and Lachette both had trouble with this one, too, and of course it's the very first one. Oh, one, two, three. Crap! <laughs> yeah, there's so many of them that have three. Okay, okay. Freaking out. Freaking out. Um, okay. I think this is... I think this counts... Uh, actually, you know what? I think this counts better. Okay. Six of swords. One, two. They're a little hard to see, but we'll see. I'm going to keep a little stack going over here. Um, and throw all my deck. Oh, crap. I should have come up with a place to throw all these decks. Okay. Second prompt. Life path card where someone is sitting down. I happen to know my life path card because I was reading Mary Greer, and mine is the hermit. So let me think of a hermit where someone is sitting down. Okay. Okay. I'm like 90% sure <laughs> that the uh, Everyday Witch Tarot here has a hermit where someone is sitting down. Uh, let's see. Hermit, hermit, hermit. Oh, that's crap. That's a hierophant. Okay, wait. I still think that the hermit is sitting. It's like someone in a sort of restful, meditative pose. Oh my god. This game is... Oh, oh my god, here it is. The Hermit. Sitting down. Perfect. Okay. Good. That's two. Card with a rainbow is prompt number three. And for rainbow... Uh, okay. You know what? I'm just going to grab Witchy Cat right here because I'm all that I can think of is the death card, which it doesn't exactly... I mean, it definitely has rainbow colors. I hope that it counts as a rainbow. I'm pretty sure it, it would count. Uh, now I'm freaking out and I can't totally remember what it looks like. Okay, death, death, uh, rainbow. Oh, well, here, I'll just use the Ten of Cups. Okay. <laughs> Some, maybe later I'll pull out the uh, death card to see if I was right. Okay. Prompt four, card of the motorcycle. Oh, shit! <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I should have used the, uh, crap. Okay, motorcycle. Card with a motorcycle. I should have used the Everyday Witch deck for that. Um... Motorcycle. Um, I think that the Autonomic Tarot has a motorcycle on it, but I can't totally remember. <laughs> Luckily, it's only 30 cards, so it should be pretty easy to go through. I know it has a car. Um, that's a car. You know what? I think it just had a car. I know that the Everyday Witch has a motorcycle as the chariot. Why didn't I use that? I might have to take a penalty. Okay, hang on, hang on. If anything else has a motorcycle, it would be the Lost Hollow Tarot. So, oh, maybe, ah, <laughs> things are falling. Maybe the Bad Girl Tarot, actually. Let me do that. Because you know what? I think this one has a motorcycle. Or like, it seems like it would make sense if it did. I know that the creator has an oracle that has a motorcycle in it. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it's like the rebel girl oracle and it's a bunch of archetypes of different rebellious girl types. And, um, oh my God, I might've wasted time. Maybe I should have just gone for Lost Hollow here. Um, um, crap, 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 crap. crap. Uh, there's no motorcycle in here. Oh, yes, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Oh, my God. It's the chariot. 
Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay, so that was Bad Girl Tarot. Um, okay, fifth. Card associated with the sign of Cancer. Um, I'm going to grab my uh, Oracle of the Radiant Sun for that, just because there's a ton of Cancer cards. Here we go. Saturn and Cancer. Charity. Perfect. Um, funny, like, the chariot that I just pulled with the motorcycle is also associated with cancer. But, can't use that one. Ugh, I'm losing it. Okay. Card with symbols on a building. Um, I'm gonna pull the Bohemian Animal Tarot. Because I know that there's, like, uh, there's one that was kind of iffy. Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna count this. Um, the tower... Right there, it's got this, like, green woman symbol on the tower. I'm going to count that. <laughs> so, Bohemian Animal. There's, like, some other ones in this deck that also have um, symbols on the buildings. Like, I think the Hierophant has some carvings in the buildings. But it didn't say it had to be carved into the building, just that it had to be on the building. Okay. Card with a disabled person or being. Well, I already have Lost Hollow pulled out here, and I know Lost Hollow has... Oh, look at that. Perfect. Princess of Pentacles, or Page of Pentacles, has Cane User. Excellent. Okay, <laughs> look at this. I'm going really quick. I had a little setback at the beginning. Okay, card with three words on it. Words? Um, do I have a lot of cards with words? Oh, my goodness. Um... Uh, okay, I just gotta pick one. Um, oh my god. Uh, okay, here, Rider Waite Smith. Three words. There's gotta be one that has three words on here. The Hanged Man, that has three words. Oh, wait, here. Knight of Pentacles. Three words. Perfect. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god, they're falling off. I'm losing it! I gotta show you the mess on my bed after all this. I think Laura did that too. I didn't actually finish Laura's video because I was trying not to cheat too much. Nine. Card with someone lounging or laying down. Um, first thing that comes to mind, of course it's like under a stack. Gorgon's Tarot has a lot of like reclining, relaxing people, I want to say. Or maybe I'm just thinking of one. Um, this counts as lounging. Nine of Cups. That's totally lounging. Okay, throw that over. I'm taking more time on that. Okay, card with a redhead. Oh, um, okay, this might be kind of cheaty. <laughs> Orphic Tarot has a lot of red in it. Look at that. Um, I forgot which card this is. Ace of Fire or something? I'll have to look it up. Um, that's a redhead. That's that's hair up there, and it's red. <laughs> I mean, it's a red pen. Does that count? <laughs> I'll say it counts. Why not? Because I don't know where else I would have a redhead. Okay, okay. Card associated with the crown chakra. This is the one where I was unsure about it. Um, crap. I know that Laura, like, looked something up. Crown chakra. Oh, shit. You know what? I'm just going to take the penalty on this one. Oh, um, yeah. Because I really don't know anything about chakras, and I don't, I don't have any chakra cards. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to take the penalty yet. Now, now it's iffy. Because <laughs> let's see, let me just Google it. Crown chakra tarot. Uh, tarot. Uh, tarot card. Um, okay, you know what? This is not helpful. I'm gonna... I'm, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab this book called Tarot Correspondences. I can't remember if they have chakras in it. I don't think they do. Astrological, Sabat, or Sabian. Oh, crap. Hang on. Let me look in the index. Um... Um, Tree of Life, uh, Dates, Zodiacal Things, Tree of Life. I don't know anything about chakras! <laughs> okay, uh, okay, you know what? 
This is taking too long, and I don't think that they have chakras in this in this uh, in this book. Crap. All right, you know what? I'll take the penalty. I just wasted another minute, <laughs> but that's okay. Let me just make sure the timer is still going. Oh my god, that's gonna take more time. Okay, the timer's still going. Okay, I'm taking the <laughs> I'm taking the two minute penalty. Three of Cups card with no people. That's prompt number 12. I can do that. Uh, I've got a ton of animal decks. Where are my animal decks? Where are my animal decks? Okay, here. Animal, Animalis Os Fortuna. My latest tarot deck, and I quite like it. It's an animal deck. It's black and white. It's really beautiful. Now I just gotta find the Three of Cups. Three of Cups. They have Beluga Whales. I'll show off all the cards in more uh, detail later. Cards taller than five inches. Okay, uh, and this one I know I can do really easily because I've got this big ass, oh my god. Big ass alchemical visions tarot. And I just need to pull one card. These are like four by six, so they are huge. Definitely count. I just pulled whatever, it's the first one. Gonna, that's gonna fall off. Okay, I'll just set it up there. Okay. Um, card with a plus-sized person. Okay. I'm kind of running out of people decks here. Um, hang on. What, what do I have underneath? Um, uh, where are all my people decks? I don't have that many people decks to begin with. I guess uh, I think the Triumphi della Luna has plus-sized. I don't know if they're all meant to be people, but they're figures. Like, here. Seven, seven of coins, plus size, probably about the closest to a person you're going to get from a Patrick Valencia index, so totally going to count that. Okay, crap! Okay, next. Card with spades. Yeah, this is the one that I just know I don't have. I have, like, playing cards, but I never read with them, so it doesn't count, so I'm going to have to take another two-minute penalty. <laughs> crap, hopefully those will be the last two. Okay. Card with a bent corner. Oh my god. Uh, I don't think I have any that have bent corners, because I guess, like, the only one I would have looked at is the uh, original Rider Waite Smith I got from my grandma, just because it's so old. This is the only other one that might have one, but I don't think it does. Oh, I don't want to have to take another penalty. Okay, you know what? You know what? <laughs> okay. Um, so this is the herbal tarot. And I don't... Okay, you know what? You guys are gonna fucking kill me. Bent corner. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I don't really use this deck. It's a long story, but... <laughs> don't freak out, don't freak out. <laughs> okay. Card with an animal not in your country. Now that should be an easy one. Now where are all my animal decks? Um, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Where are my animal decks? I don't have them sorted. Okay. Uh, Tarot of the Animal Lords. Look at that, right off the bat. Water buffalo. Not in my country. Ah, why am I trying to put it back in the box? Because my bed's getting to be a bit of a mess. Okay. Okay, affirmation card. Um, I don't have, like, oracles that have affirmations and stuff on them, so I guess let me just try to think if there's some... Oh, oh, this will work. This will work. This will totally work. Wild Whiskers Animal Oracle. Um, these are, these are kind of like... Uh, see, the thing is, these are kind of like, um, asking for help from the animals. So I'm going to try to come up with one that's, like, less, less asking and begging and more that's, like, um, okay, here, here's one that totally works. Okay. Proud Peacock. Regal bird bursting with color. Your confidence and grace I would know. I 
feel like that that's close enough to an affirmation. That's an affirmation. It's like it's basically like saying, "Yes, I I know your your beauty. What, what did it say? Your confidence and grace. Like I know it because I have it myself. I'm going to count that. Okay. Keyword or phrase starts with the letter D. I'll go with the seasons seasons of the witch sawing oracle. Um, because this has a lot of keywords on it. Um, although, do, oh yes, yes, okay. I was worried there weren't going to be any. D, divination. Perfect. And the last prompt, death card with a different name. Oh, shit. I don't think it's going to be any of those. Uh, let me... Let me get down under here. Um, do I even have one that has a different name? Maybe animism. This is kind of showing how I don't actually know my tarot decks as well as I thought I did. Um, I need something that's like rebirth or something, right? Uh, I'm just kind of pulling out a few that I think might have a different one. Maybe the Hermetic Tarot? Okay. <laughs> okay, I just pulled out a few, and I'm going to go through them as quickly as I can to see if they might... Okay, this isn't going to... This isn't going to have a different name. It's just going to have like a title on it. Um... I don't think that um, for Hexa it's going to have a different name for Death because I don't think that MJ Cullinane tends to rename the... Yeah, it's, that's Death. Crap! Okay. Um, Forest of Enchantment, maybe? Uh, hmm. Probably cheating to look at the guidebook. So I'm not gonna look at the guidebook <laughs> any more than I just did. Don't worry, I didn't see. <laughs> Crap! Okay. Um, because this one has a lot of stuff renamed. The hanged man is called suspension. Um so I'm looking for number 13. If only I had a Marseille deck, because Marseille decks don't have, like, I believe <laughs> Marseille decks don't traditionally give the death card a title at all beyond just number 13. Oh my god, how... This gets really hard to, sh to like, flip through these after a little while. I'm probably doing it in a weird way. Some Light, The Liar, The Wise Woman, The Forest Lord... Oh yes! Oh yes! 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 Pause! Black Shuck is death in the Forest of Enchantment Tarot. So with that, I paused it as soon as I found the card before I showed you. But my official time, 18 minutes, 21 seconds. Or 21 and a half seconds, basically. That's longer than I thought it was going to be, plus I have a two-minute penalty. I have a few two-minute penalties. Holy crap. I have, I believe I have two two-minute penalties, which is um, the penalty for card associated with the crown chakra and card with spades, because I don't have those. So... That's a slightly less impressive time than I was hoping for, and I, you know, funny enough, with those penalties, I think it's actually less than the <laughs> original videos. It's a, it's a longer time than Lachette had at Scarlet Moon Creations. And, <laughs> and Lachette, you were making such a big deal about, or not, not a big deal, but like you'd said, yeah, it should be it's probably pretty easy to beat that time. Well, well, I suppose it's not as easy when you add penalties and whatever for yourself but hey that's what the that's what the fun of it is so my official final time then is 22 
minutes and 21 seconds, and that's including four minutes worth of penalties. Maybe that is faster? I don't know. Well, whatever it is, <laughs> that was incredibly fun. So let's go through the prompts a little more slowly, and I'll show you each of the cards that I picked um, to represent them. Okay, we're back to a close-up, and I'm going to go through them backwards because that's uh, the order in which they're stacked now. So number 20 was Death Card with a Different Name, and that is Black Shuck from the Forest of Enchantment Tarot. <laughs> Love that one. All right. Next, keyword or phrase that starts with the letter D. I have Divination from the... Sawain, what's it called? Seasons of the Witch Sawain Oracle. Affirmation card. Um, this one might be kind of a stretch, but I don't know. I think it kind of counts. It's from the Wild Whiskers Animal Oracle, and it the affirmation on it is uh, Regal Bird, Regal Bird bursting with color. Your confidence and grace, I would know. There's that one card with an animal not in your country. I got a water buffalo from the Tarot of the Animal Lords. Card with a bent corner. <laughs> now my newly bent tower card from the, um, crap, what's it even called? Herbal Oracle. No, why am I saying Oracle? The Herbal Tarot. Um, yeah. <laughs> so as far as why I was comfortable with bending this one is because I got this deck as a gift from my aunt a while ago, and um, it was just that she had had it and never used it. Um, she's not really a tarot person. She had tried it a long time ago in the 80s or whatever, and just wasn't into it and was like, here, you're, you're looking into tarot now. Why don't you try this? And I, I, it was a very sweet gesture, and I really appreciate it, but... I'm not really a fan of the deck in general, but I still keep it to use for photocopying stuff for artwork or just, I don't know, for... Because who am I... Because I'm not going to give it to anybody, so, you know, now it's helped me <laughs> with this little game. Card with spades. That's the one where I had to take a two-minute penalty because I did not have one. Card with a plus-sized person. I used this one from the seven... Okay, the seven of coins from... Okay. <laughs> let me... Let me breathe for a second here. Um, I'm losing my mind, and all of my... All my boxes and things are all over the place. Um, uh... <laughs> Triomphe della Luna Illustrated Edition. <laughs> this is where I got this one from. Okay. Um, cards taller than five inches. That's where I've got this giant postcard sized one. It's four by six ish. Definitely taller than five inches. Um, and that is... I'm looking around to, to make sure I get all the names right. I probably know them, but I just, you know, need that reassurance. Uh, this happens to be the Queen of Wands card, and it's from the Alchemical Visions Tarot. Giant card. Um, Three of Cups card with no people. I've got this Three of Cups featuring Beluga Whales. Yeah. Okay, I dropped it. Um, and that's from the Animals Os Fortuna deck. Um, card with a red head is this one. I said I was going to look up what it is. I'm pretty sure this is the Knight of Wands from the Orphic Tarot. So I'm just going to say that, and if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. <laughs> the next one, card with someone lounging or laying down. And I pulled this Nine of Cups from the Gorgon's Tarot. Card with three words on it. Knight of Pentacles from good old Rider Waite Smith. Um, card with a disabled person or being. I have the Princess of Pentacles 
which is the Page of Pentacles from the Lost Hollow, uh, tar Lost Hollow Tarot, featuring a cane user. Card with symbols on a building. The Tower card from the Bohemian Animal Tarot, which has this uh, green green face, green man, green woman um, face on the face of the tower. Card associated with the sign of Cancer. I've got Saturn in Cancer, which is Charity from the um, Oracle of the Radiant Sun. Okay. Card of the Motorcycle, the one that tripped me up, <laughs> from the Bad Girl Tarot on the Chariot. Excellent. Card with a Rainbow, Ten of Cups, from the Witchy Cat Tarot. Life Path card, where someone is sitting down. My Life Path card is the Hermit, and we have someone sitting down there. And the very first, or in this case last one, the card with two clouds, the really tricky one to start with, is the Six of Swords from the Northern Animal Tarot. All right, <laughs> that was incredibly fun, incredibly invigorating. And I guess to close it off here, let me show you the uh, <laughs> mess made of my bed with with all of these decks. 